Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley! Hope you're all doing well, I'm doing quite well myself. I'm actually really really enjoying uh, winter at the moment. So let's go ahead and check the calendar. So it is the 13th, it's Harvey's birthday tomorrow, which means we do need to get a uh, huge cup of coffee for uh, the wonderful doctor of the town. Weather report, welcome to Kozu 5, you know what's also weather, news and entertainment. Now the weather forecast, for tomorrow. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow, will indeed. Fortune teller? Oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Oh, well, that's okay, well, because we kind of make our own luck here on the valley. <gasps> Alex, you standing out in the snow. I got up early and fed all the farm animals. I hope that makes your job a little easier. Alex, thank you so much for doing that. That's so sweet. Also filled the farm's water bowl. Alex, you're so cute! Oh, and we have some diamonds too. I got another challenge for you. Catch me a lincod. They don't go down easy, but I know you can do it, Willy. Okay, we can do that, there's no bother. Let me just get uh, these diamonds so we can go ahead and sell them. Because why not? We also have the 300 wood for something. The shed, maybe? Is is the shed the thing that we were, we were waiting for? I thought you said he fed, fed all the animals, but the slimes weren't fed. That's a bit weird. Come on, Alex. Okay, let's come in here then. Pop up uh, into into here. Ooh, looks like we got some blueberries. That's okay. We do have a, quite a lot of coffee beans. Got some more blueberries, okay. Some pomegranates. Oh, and we got coffee for Harvey too for tomorrow. Which is quite nice. Okay, let's grab two of those. Do all of that, and then we can pop in these blueberries into here. Just get all these blueberry seeds, okay. Then let's just grab all these coffee beans because we're constantly going to be setting all these coffee beans. I know for a fact that like we're not going to have the most money by just like growing coffees. Like we're going to have to eventually start replacing these with uh, blueberry seeds. But I'm hoping by the time we get all the blueberry seeds planted, right? So what's going to happen is we're going to be rich enough just to afford the, um, the uh, speed grow that eventually when we do plant all of the blueberries they take like a fraction of the time it, it takes it took us to grow the original blueberries you know what I mean because like all down the bottom we can actually grow blueberries because we do have um, enough of the uh, sprinklers because we have like all this area down here to plant full of blueberries as well as here so there's plenty of basically there's plenty of space so let's grab all of these thank you there we go we can pop these 29 down to here. And it doesn't seem like they're actually working, the beehives. So I don't think my, my plan is actually very good. So at least we have those there. Let's actually just drink one uh, cup of coffee. Thank you. It's only 8.30, which does give us a little bit of leeway in doing what we need to do. Um, Alex did say that he fed all the animals, but we still need to go and actually uh, collect the eggs. We need to go and collect uh, the milk, the cheese, all that kind of jazz. So even though he did feed them, um, we kind of only needed to feed the rabbits and the goats. But if Alex wants to think that he did a lot today, I'm going to go ahead and let him because it's not really fair for us to be like, oh, you didn't really do that much in the farm. When in fact, like the farm was never his, like it's not his responsibility. Um, like, yes, he is part of the family and yes it is technically his farm now but like we're the ones who set this up like this we're the ones who are like you know you know like we're making this our living and by association i guess we're kind of forcing alex to make this his living too um because he did want to become a footballer and i don't know if he's still continuing that dream but he he did want to become a footballer so i don't think it's very fair to like just leave him uh like blame him for everything Oh, we got a radium quality milk? Alright. I wonder if we'll ever get a radium quality like cheese. Oh, we got two radium quality milks. Okay. Pop you up into there. Let's come out. Oh, we never got onto Epina. That's what we did. We never got onto Epina. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go onto Epina, run into town. Thank you. We're going to run into town. We're going to go to Pierre's. Sell a few things, check what he has for like, ooh, we have a Wiggly Worms, which are just seeds. Okay, we got some crystal fruit up here. We got some more Wiggly Worms. Okay, it's a yam. Right? Yeah, it's my yam. And then we can go up to Robin's and hopefully uh, buy the, the shed, I guess. We also need to like, 
they decide on our layout, our farm layout. We really, really do. Looking for a red mushroom. Okay, Caroline, we can try and get you a red mushroom. I, I don't know if we have one at home. We probably do. Let's sell all of these. Okay. So let's see, let's see. Oh, that wallpaper's kind of nice. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna buy, like, how much speed grow I can. Okay, at least we got 84 speed growth, so it's not too bad. It's not the worst. Okay, so now we definitely need to just head up to Robin's, see what we're doing, and then maybe, if we can, just go straight through the mines and um, try and find a uh, red mushroom. I will uh, take the... Uh, oh, let's take some holly. I will take the... Um, minecart system back to the bus station go home and just check my my chest first just before i commit to going into the mines because if we do a mine day it's a mine day you know what i mean like that's going to be it Ooh, the trump the uh stump seat is kind of nice okay it's not as nice though construct farm buildings um do, 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 do. let's build a shed there we go okay let's build a shed where are we going to build it we can actually put it up here oh it's gonna go um, I don't want to build it there. Can we build it over here somewhere for now? Just so it's out of the way and kind of being made. Okay, let's build it there. Oh, we got a shed! So we can finally start building our little cafe. Okay, I'll start working on your new shed first thing tomorrow morning. Alright, thank you so much for doing that. That's actually really, really nice of you. Okay, so I'm going to run Epina over uh, to the mines. And then I'm going to hop on the mine carts, head back home, and uh, see if we have a... a just see if we have a, a red mushroom in our chest. I, I hope we do. I mean, we probably could have one in our chest by, like, knowing me. I'm probably a hoarder right now, so I probably do have it. Like, I do sell an awful lot. I do. Like, <laughs> you guys have been giving out to me a little bit for selling way too much. But, again, I'm thinking, you know what? Like, we're, like, we're, we're going to be playing start of... Oh, we do have a red mushroom. Caroline, it is your lucky day. <laughs> I'm kind of like happy about that now that we can actually uh, deliver Caroline's little dreams. I don't know why she wants a mushroom. Maybe she needs it for some medicinal purposes or something like that. Or maybe like a magic routine or maybe she wants to paint from reference or, or use it as fertilizer for something. I, I don't know. But I hope, sincerely hope she's not gonna, she's not gonna eat it. Caroline, are you up here inside? She is indeed. Here you go, Caroline. Hello, Deli. You saw the ad I posted. Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Okay. And I suppose we can just go ahead and give you a crocus since you love them so much. Um, there you go. Perfect. So now I suppose we can head down to maybe Clint's, open up our frozen geodes. I know we have some bad luck, but I'm not going to let that stop me, to be honest. Because then we can just take the minecart from Clint's all the way up to the mines, and then we can see where we go from there. So hopefully things will be kind of a little bit of a organized today. We're, we're kind of, we're, we're getting there, and we're also not getting there, if that makes sense. So, hello, Clint. Let's uh, process the geodes. Hopefully we get some iridium ore. We're probably not going to be that lucky since today is a bad day. Ooh. An ore coal is running. It's a ghost crystal? Oh, I've never seen a ghost crystal before. Ooh. Ocean stone. Well, we bought, we literally have enough for our... Oh. Jamborite. Okay, so I'm not actually going to keep these because... Like, we kind of do need them. Okay. Like, I'm not even halfway upset by that. Because we have our cafe now. So, like... We can literally just like put those into the cafe as like display items. Of course, we're going to need like tables and furniture and stuff for the cafe, which is going to be like one of those things that we're just going to have to deal with. Thank you. You know, just deal with it in terms of like, um, you know, like slowly progressing with it. So let's go into the mines. Let's head over to the uh, dwarf. Oh, ooh, can we give the dwarf anything? We can't. We don't have anything to give to the dwarf today. Okay. Um, no more. Do not come back in here. You are banished. Why? Why am I banished? What, what did I do? Is it because I'm destroying the, the caves or something? Or is it because I, I sided with Krobis? I feel like it's very short-sighted of you, mister. Um, like, I've been a treasured friend to you for quite a while. Okay, let's go to level 80. Okay, we 
didn't see anything there. I need them here. Oh, I put two down. I didn't mean to put two down. I meant to put one down. Okay, we're probably not going to find that much down here anyway. But it doesn't mean that I can't check. Always better off just checking. Um, I bet suggest that the mushroom level isn't going to be that high. Oh, there's a ladder. Let's just get down there. Okay, we can probably pop one of these guys down. Oh, took damage. Okay, we'll pop one of those down there. One of those there. One of those there. There. And let's put one there. Okay, the flashing is a bit nice. Come on, don't give me that. Okay. I kind of want to go back to the Calico Desert though, you know? We're not strong enough for the Calico Desert, you know? Like, we don't have enough items, we don't have enough, like, defense, we don't have anything that, that would even qualify for the Calico Desert. I can't really get rid of the fiber, though. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let me see how this. Maybe we can head. Uh, leave mine. Uh, bus stop. Oh, it's 500 gold. So we don't even have enough for the Calico Desert. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. I guess we can come back down here and just sort out our farm again like we were doing. So I will pop up these. Uh, I need to keep these down, actually. Um, do I have a chest? I thought I had a chest for... I do. Can we pop all these up into here? I need to take out the cobblestone path, the hats, and pop up these little gems. Okay, need to get those. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop all these into here because that's where they should go. Pop you guys into there. Okay, let's pop you guys up there. Do that. Stone. I'm gonna take down 180 stone. Um, I should probably pop up you guys. Anything else? Oh yeah, and then I, I want to make some stone paths as well. Perfect. Okay. I should probably drink this coffee to get me around the area. Poor little Epina is like uh, at the other side of, at the other side of town just chilling. So I was thinking that we should probably make a stone fence somewhere over this area and just have it like kind of come down. Let's just get rid of you, you, um, you. Weeds? Really? Okay. Okay, and then we can get rid of these. Okay, pop you down there. So that'll be kind of like the edge of our place, I guess. Okay. Can we pop down a bomb here? Just to kind of get rid of it. Okay. And just climb up all this area here. Because I want to, like, have this area down here for our chickens and stuff. Like, I, I don't want this area to be known as something that we're just avoiding. And maybe we could put, like, an orchard or something down here. That would be kind of cool, having, like, an orchard. Okay, can we get all this space? I feel like we do need an orchard up here or something. So maybe like, oh, we should put like, maybe in front of our like, grandfather's grave or something like that. We should put like an orchard of like different trees, different fruits. And say that like, that can be like a tribute to him. Like his soul is watching over the, the fruits, like the, the, at the trees, the, the, the harvest of the trees. Uh, every time we get a good harvest, it could be like he's looking after us or looking, watching over us. You know, that kind of way. That would be kind of cute. I think, I, I think I'd like that. Okay. Let's get rid of you, and let's get rid of these stones here, and these, perfecto, thank you, and let's do this too. There we go, grab you, thank you. We're 
nearly finished all these trees. Nearly. And I'm impressed, because I did say the winter was for building, didn't I? I did say it. <laughs> I know it's been like, really, really kind of like, mundane, kind of like, boring to watch this. But like, just think about it, like, at the end of this, you guys will be thinking, you know, look at, the, look at all that little progress, look at all that there, we were there for that, we transformed that, rather than me like doing all these jump cuts, and you guys not being able to focus or think about it. Now guys, you actually get to see like what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, how I'm forming my ranch, like like how things are taking uh, shape, why things are taking so long with certain things, you know that kind of way? I feel like you guys have like a, a better appreciation for uh, for things that I'm doing. Ooh, and what's going on up there? Oh. Did something break there? Did, is was it because I used a bomb? Oh, there's little Saku, hello. I don't know why you're out so late. Um, I do want to get rid of these though. Okay. So I do want to get rid of some of these. I kind of want the mushroom trees just to be up here like that. And get rid of these trees. Okay, get rid of you. And get rid of these trees. Leave the mushroom trees there. And I will bring this over, I guess, like this. Like that, maybe? And then I, I'll just get rid of, like, like this, I suppose? Honestly, I don't know how I want this to look. But I know I want it to look something similar to this. Like, something like, like where we have, like, a little kind of grave area. And then we have, like, something over here that, like, takes away from the grave. Like, as in, like, it doesn't make it so, like, deserted and morbid over here. Like, I want this to be, like, a lovely area. So maybe this can be where, like, our flower field kind of goes. I, honestly, I don't know. But I don't want it to look this weird over here. You know, I don't want it to be, like, taken over by trees. I don't want this area to be, like, destroyed. I want this area to be, like, sorted. Nice. So I think we will actually have to go and get more hardwood just from lost woods every day just so we can build like hardwood fences for everything i definitely know that i want my cafe to go somewhere down here maybe we could put our slime branch down here like the magical slimes that would be kind of cool um like i wouldn't be against doing that like not at all um because the slimes are a little bit weird where they are at the moment um they're kind of just like sitting there so I'm gonna like maybe use the Stardew Valley map planner and just see what it is that, um, I can do at my farm. And then hopefully things will look a little bit better and we can have like a little cafe and stuff like that. And think of, I just think it'll look, it'll look so much better. <gasps> there we go guys, so our whole farm is like de-treefied um, with certain things. We have a whole little area here that we can spice off. Oh, I should probably bring this forward actually. That would just make a lot of sense. Yeah, so why don't I just bring that forward like that? And then just have those like that. I think that's that's honestly a lot better than what it was. And I'll just like keep that up there for now. And I can sort out all this stuff at a later date and just figure out like footpaths and things I wanna do like that. Cause I want like <clears throat> a big, big harvest next time when we grow things. So I'm just gonna pop all this up in here cause I don't wanna get rid of any of these. At least not yet anyway. Pop those. Look at that. We get like a lot of um a lot of wood just from cutting down those trees. Our energy is like at five, so you know there's a little bit of an issue. Harry's birthday tomorrow. We're gonna to figure something out. But I guess that's gonna be it. So thank you so very, very much for watching. It's been a complete pleasure. Sorry today's episode was so mundane, but trust me, next episode we're gonna start some serious planning. Alright guys, bye!